There's a huge tornado project in the southeast this spring called Perils, and we are studying linear systems which produce tornadoes. Uh, these squall lines are what we call quasi-linear convective systems. It's a 50 cent word. And we are deploying a net of radars. We have several radars. This is the biggest one, but we have some other mobile radars and we're deploying about half a dozen of these in the Tennessee Valley today and we're expecting strong storms to come through tonight, possibly making tornadoes. So we've deployed this one here near Iron City. We have another one up in Lawrenceburg. Uh, and we have a couple others, one near Florence, and I forget the towns the other ones are in. And if the storms come through, we will scan them with all these radars, literally triangulating on the storms so we can measure the wind speeds and wind directions. We also have a fleet of what we call mobile mesonets, which are pickup trucks with weather instruments on them, and they drop weather instruments. Uh, we have another team here from Texas Tech University who has uh, deployed a whole network of stick nets. Um, we have a couple dozen students from the University of Illinois who are helping us run these radars and are also launching weather balloons and dropping these pods, these tornado pods, different places. Um, and teams from North Carolina State University who are also launching weather balloons. We have five teams launching weather balloons in this area. So we're gonna measure these storms and possibly tornadic storms using radars, surface weather stations, weather balloons, uh, these lasers which measure the size of raindrops and hail, basically all kinds of different measurements so we can try to understand why, when, and where uh, these particular kind of tornadoes form.